Now, if you've ever worked with a poorly designed cattle handling facility, you know how stressful it can be on both you and the cattle. Brian Baxter has more on a valuable cattleman's college session that gave practical tips on designing a cattle handling facility. Experience shows that how you handle your cattle can have a direct impact on your operation's bottom line. That's why the best producers are always looking for ways to improve their techniques. As um, cattle producers, we're always striving to get better. We're studying our nutrition, we're studying our reproduction, we're studying um, what the latest in um, you know, animal health is and so forth. One of the things I think that we can also do is study how our animal handling impacts not only consumer perceptions about what we're producing, but um, you know, the, the quality of the product that we're producing. The point is, what's the disposition of your cattle when you're done working them, right? Where is their stress level? Where is their performance? How is their performance impacted by our interaction with them? So there's so many little things we can do to make that interaction a positive experience for those cows that'll make us money. One area that's often overlooked is the handling facility and the role it can play in reducing stress. A handful of cattle industry experts hosted a Cattlemen's College session that focused on this important topic. The goal was to illustrate the pros and cons of different facility designs so audience members could decide what might work best on their own farm or ranch. When it comes to our cattle handling, we don't have, we don't have that resident expert that can help us with a phone call, right? So we rely on what we know, what we've been taught, what generations have done. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's correct, because what do we gauge it on? So what we were trying to share with folks in here is some things that will help them as they handle their cattle to do a better job. A well-designed handling facility that allows safe and efficient cattle movement can pay for itself over time. The experts say one of the most important steps is to assess your current setup and look for problem areas. The first thing that I would emphasize is look at where you're hanging up. Where are the slow spots in your facility? Where are you having to put extra pressure on cattle? And why is that? So is it a visual thing? Is it a change in the texture of the footing? Is it um, different light coming in? So look first at the things that are causing you to slow down or to have problems. Having a well-designed facility is important, but not using the proper handling techniques can make for a long day for you and your cattle. Understanding how animals react to pressure and what draws their attention can help you refine and improve your handling facility. I think it's important that we think about, um, you know, from that cow's perspective, what do I need to do to make her respond? And that vision is so important because they, again, have a different field of vision, a different type of vision, um, you know, as a predator versus a prey animal like ourselves. So that vision part is really, really important. There's some really cool research that's coming out that's reinforcing how cattle see, and that's affecting how we handle cattle and how we design our facilities. Slower is faster. Slower is faster. It always is. It always is. And, and just remind everybody the, the depth of vision the cattle have and behind them isn't the best thing and, and the, you know I think Dean Fish referenced the John Wayne the cowboy movies and the whippy tie IA doesn't really get it you know and I think all of us learn from that. This class is just one example of NCBA's commitment to ensuring cattle industry convention attendees get access to the best educational opportunities and expert hands-on training. One of the benefits of being a member is being able to hear from the latest and greatest in that research, the latest and greatest in the different products and our partners that are in, in the industry, um, and being able to share that fellowship with other cattlemen. And so being able to have that fellowship and work through some issues and problems and you know see what's working, boy, isn't that just a wonderful benefit of being an NCBA member and attending our cattle convention. Reporting from Phoenix, Arizona, I'm Brian Baxter for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Now, if you were unable to attend Cattlemen's College in Phoenix, all the sessions were recorded and will be available for viewing online. Just visit ncba.org for all the details.